Sky, now we're looking at the Next Generation X-Ride board for 2009. Can you tell us a little bit about the most noticeable differences or the performance characteristics that North worked on uh, for developing this particular model? Yeah, um, well, this is the X-Ride. It comes in a 129, a 135, and a 141, uh, so three different sizes of that. Um, it's basically, the X-Ride is a crossover board. It's uh, a really great board for people who want to ride a twin tip, but also get into the surf, um, carve carve turns in the surf, or you know just just ride ride waves on a twin tip, basically. Um, the fins here are swept back, um, so it gives you a little bit of extra grip, um, which makes it really good for carving. It holds really well through a turn, um, and it's also really easy to load up for a jump because you have a lot of a lot of fins to push off of. Um, it's also got rounded rails um, and concave, which just makes it feel really smooth. You know, it's sort of got a little bit of a surfy feel and a, and a pretty curvy, you know, sort of roundish outline. Um, so, yeah, it cars really well and uh, is easy to load up for a jump, basically. So if I'm the type of rider that lives um, at the ocean and has waves but also enjoys freestyle, what would, would, I be to, would, what would you recommend? Would I prefer perhaps the X-Ride boards or would I prefer maybe one of the pro models of the Jaime Pro? Well, I think if you're, you know, getting into, if you're riding in the surf a lot, you know, even if it's just small sort of onshore mushy surf, this is a really great option um, just because, you know, you can go full speed and just bank off of waves and get that really surfy, carvy feeling, um, but still have the ability to, you know, maybe unhook and, and do a couple of freestyle moves. And it's just, it's a really versatile board.